Hi there. Um, I'm not sure if you've ever had the situation where you would like to export an email into a PDF file. Sounds pretty straightforward, but turns out it's actually not, particularly in some of the emails that I've got that are quite long, and I'd actually like them to be a single PDF document, not like multiple pages. Uh, so I'm just quickly running through here how to do it. It took me a little while to work out, so... Uh, maybe I'll stop some people to try reinventing the wheel. Um, this is the document here that I'm uh, intending to export. It's uh, just a mail out that we did. It, there's nothing proprietary here. And if you find this information useful, you're welcome to contact me. We do this stuff for a business. Um, the first step is to save it as a HTML file. Um, so we'll just chuck it in here and I'll just call it test in this case. So we'll put it in there. It's all pretty straightforward when you know what you're doing. So once I've worked it out, so we just need to open that file. And um, I'd normally make some changes here, like I'd get rid of this because I just want it to be a document that my clients can refer to. We get rid of that because it was out of MailChimp. So it had, you know, the mail merge files and my business partner's head looks a bit weird there. He's actually not that long in the face. Um, we'll save it. And we need to change, I, as you can see, this is all on one page and I don't want it on one page. So we we can just manually change it. This is the reason it's got to go into Word. Trying to do this was a nightmare. So if we actually change it to say 42, um, we just need to work something that's pretty good. That will do. Save and then use the export function. I'll do test, we'll just keep it cool there. And now it's open up in Nitro. And as you can see, we can actually still click these doc, these uh, these things all in one file and yeah, all exported. As I say, it was pretty straightforward once you know what you're doing, but I've probably wasted half a day's time trying to work this out and I couldn't find anything on the web. So as I say, if you've found it helpful, you're welcome uh, to put a thumbs up. If not, well, that's that's up to you. Thanks for your time. Bye now.